Hi, I'm Anna Olson and welcome to Oh Yum. I'm so glad you're here because this is the delicious place to be on YouTube for inspiring recipes and a growing community of passionate home cooks and food lovers alike. Now I know you're ready to learn something new. This recipe is my roasted ham with roasted applesauce. Yes, the apples are roasted too. Okay, let me get into this recipe. Before I make the ham, I like to make the applesauce. I'm making them back to back right now, but this is a recipe you can make ahead of time and store in the fridge. I like to roast my apples when I'm making an applesauce because it concentrates the flavor. The apples caramelize just ever so slightly and gee, do you think caramel and apple goes together well? But it's not a sweet applesauce. In fact, I only add a touch of honey to it. I also like that it evaporates the excess moisture and that's really why it concentrates the flavors. The other reason I like this applesauce recipe is it's a bit of a clean the fridge applesauce recipe. I am very particular on the apple varieties I use when I make an apple pie. And in fact, I insist that Honeycrisp be at least one of my many apple varieties. But when you make applesauce, it doesn't matter. Everything from a Macintosh to a Golden Delicious, really any variety or any combination of varieties, so long as you end up with two pounds of apples before you start peeling and coring them. And what I do is I like to slice them. You can dice them if you want. It really doesn't matter because it's going to get pureed at the end but I like the surface area of slices. That way, when they're roasting, that liquid evaporates pretty quickly. But you don't have to have the apples in a single layer. Right here, I've got them in a casserole dish. I like to use a dish like this, a ceramic dish, because the apples won't stick. So to my apples, the first thing I like to add is a little lemon juice. And that's simply, yes, for acidity, which is especially good if you're using more eating apples, which are naturally sweet, but it also helps the apples not brown as quickly. While I don't mind a little caramelization, I don't want overly browned applesauce. There we go. I add a touch of honey, two tablespoons, and the recipe for this is down below in the description and two tablespoons of melted butter. That's actually the real secret to a rich and creamy applesauce, just that little bit of butter. If you wanted to, you could add a cinnamon stick or even a little sprinkling of ground cinnamon. It's up to you. You know how your family and friends like their applesauce. Applesauce really is the classic companion to a roasted ham. I've preheated my oven to 375 and I'll pop this in. It takes about 40 minutes. You don't have to stir the apples as you let them roast, so you can take care of other things at the same time. All right, here are the apples out of the oven and I've let them cool before I blend them. There's no benefit to pureeing the applesauce while the apples are still warm. Might as well keep it simple. You can see how the apples have let off some juice, but some of the juice has evaporated. So that's what I mean when you want to roast to concentrate the flavors. This is going to be the most apple-y applesauce you've ever had. So what I do is take everything, and remember there's the honey and the butter and the lemon in there, so you really don't need to add anything else. And scrape this into my blender. and give it a whir. Now I do have a little extra water on hand. Because you can use just about any apple variety when you're making this applesauce, you may have to adjust the moisture. If you have a really sort of starchy apple like a mutsu, you may find you have to add a little water to it just to get the right smooth consistency. How easy is that? Nice and smooth. In fact, almost creamy with that little bit of butter in it. The combination of ham with the applesauce. And of course, I like to put out a buffet of mustards when I set out a holiday ham. There we go. 
So all I need to do right now is pop this in the fridge. If you are making it ahead, it'll keep for a few weeks in an airtight container, refrigerated. But it's time to get on to roasting that ham. 